Hi, I promised you a little shoulder workout for your homework, and this is what I'd like you to do. I'm going to do it standing. And come down here. Okay, standing in good alignment, feet and knees in line with your hip bones. Try and get that pelvis level. Roll your shoulders. Slide your shoulders down the back. Don't jam them down. Just get some movement going. That's what I'd like you to do. Start off with 20 of these and then come back the other way. 20 of these. No shoulder blades moving on top of that rib cage. Lovely. It's a really nice movement. Then when you've done 20 in each direction, hold the arms out in front, turn the palms out to your sides, open up the chest as if you're sunbathing and then collapse it in and then open again and collapse. Open and release. Open and release. You just feel the shoulder blades coming together and then coming apart. Getting a lovely movement in the upper back. 20 of these. And they look at the camera saying to me, 20? Yeah, 20. That's on day one. And hold after you've done 20. Draw up the shoulders, slide them down your back. Now turn your head to the right hand side. Come back to centre, turn it to the left. Come back to centre, go again. And again. Trying to keep the chin parallel so you're not lifting it or not dropping it down. We're just going from side to side and aiming to keep the shoulders wide. Drop the fingers. 20 on each side. And then push the palms down towards the floor, helping to drop the shoulders as you drop the ear to the shoulder. Change sides. And again. You're not bringing the, up, uh, the shoulders up to the ears, keeping them down to the ground. Taking the ear to the shoulder. It's very tempting to lift it. And if you're a bit tight in the upper trapezius muscle, and all those muscles down the side of the neck, the SCM, the scalenes, it's very tempting. It makes you realise how tight you are in your shoulders. So doing this in front of a mirror is really helpful because you'll see them lifting. You might not be able to feel them at first. So have a look at yourself when you do this. 20 on each side. So you've done your rotations and you've done your side to side. Lovely stretch down here at the side of the neck when you do side to side. And then drop the chin towards the chest and then look up to the ceiling. Keeping the mouth closed, you get a lovely stretch under here. Front of the chin and into the neck. Drop and lift. Obviously you have any neck issues, if you had any neck strain, injuries, if you know you've got any issues with the vertebrae in your cervical spine, then please check with a doctor before you do this. 20 of these. Head nods. Oh, they are, just nodding the head. Just taking it slow and feeling that stretch. Lovely. And when you've done 20, once you've done 20 of those, Take the right arm, lift it up towards the ceiling, start, point your finger and start to circle it around, keeping everything steady, pelvis is not moving, body stays still. Start to draw a circle on the ceiling and then make it bigger, take it out to the side and then take it even bigger. Try not to arch the back, squeeze the glutes if you want to, to help steady yourself, pushing the feet into the floor. And then reverse it, come back the other way. Open up the arm. Start to make the circle smaller until you get to the ceiling. Small circles, keeping it steady. And then change arms. Nice big circle. Might feel a bit of clicking going on. You can hear my shoulder going clunk. Make the circle smaller and then take it up towards the ceiling. And then go again, reverse it, small circles. When you've done each side, roll those shoulders down. Shake your hands out. 
chest hands. Let's do some rotations with the wrists. You can do one wrist at a time if you want to. If you need to support the hand, support the wrist. Come back the other way. It's going for about 20 rotations on each side. Get that wrist moving. So we tend to spend a lot of time at the computer doing this. Or if you're driving, just in one position, compressing the wrists to get some mobility going in the wrist joint. Lovely. And then bring your elbows in towards your waist, hands facing upwards, and then think about where the tips of your shoulder blades are. Slide them down the back and then bring them together. So slide your shoulders down, bring the shoulder blades together and release. Your hands will hardly move. So this is called, in some, some people call it a dumb waiter. And some people just do this with their arms, which is working more into the rhomboids, which we can do as well. But let's just focus on the shoulder blades for now. Slide the shoulder blades down and bring the shoulder blades together. Working into the latissimus dorsi. Big fan of muscle, like angel wings. And all the way out the back, and then turning into the upper part of the humerus top part of the arm. Lovely. Let's do about 10 to 20 of those. Good. Feeling all right with your shoulders? I want you to imagine your shoulders are really soft. Some people like to think, some people it works and the image works for them that the, sh the shoulders are made of butter and they're melting down your back or they're made of honey or made of chocolate and it's a sunny day and the chocolate's melting or ice cream. And for some people, images don't work at all. They just think it's really ridiculous. I'd rather think of their shoulder blades just dropping down and sliding together, which is fine. Whatever works for you. So that shouldn't take you too long to do, but every day. So you're starting off with 20 repetitions and then take it a little bit further. So every day I want you to add five repetitions, okay? So work it up over the weeks, adding, adding on five repetitions every day. So day one, 20. Day two, to day two, 25. I haven't got my teeth in today. Day three, 30. Day four, 35. Day five, 40. And so on until you get to, um, let me think, how many I'm going to give you. Really should be working up to the amount of repetitions that you do equivalent to your age. <laughs> so if you're 110, you're going to be doing this for a while. So grab yourself a cup of herbal tea and get working because we've got time to crack on. Get up a little bit earlier on in the day. Do it then if you haven't got time. Um, stop uh, your time on the computer because obviously the computers were like this. Do some work for your shoulders. Give yourself a break. Uh, think about homework where um, if you're driving a lot and you're at a red traffic light, you're going to be there a little while. Roll your shoulders. Every red traffic light roll your shoulders, get them moving. That's quite an easy thing to remember and it's something that's achievable. Just try and get those shoulder rolls in every day, sitting at those traffic lights. If you don't drive, if you sit on a bus, do your shoulder rolls on the bus. And if you walk, think every time, roll your shoulders. If you're walking to or from work, might look a bit funny, but we want to try and get some movement going in those shoulders because we're just so static or we're hunched around like this. We get tight in the chest the upper back muscles get long and weak. So this is just to start you off, and then we'll do some uh, more little homework sessions later on to try and get these muscles even looser and to try and strengthen the upper back, the rhomboids, the upper trapezius muscle, and release the front muscles, the pec minor mainly, and to get these shoulders back and down. Okay, have good fun, enjoy yourself. And if you need to leave me comments, uh, it's mel.colly at live.co.uk and the website is mypilatescornwall.co.uk. Leave a message and please ask for any advice. Um, I'll see what I can do for you. Thank you. Bye.